Dead Space is scary as ass. I'm just going to start with that because pretty much that's what people want to know about a horror game. Yes, I nearly pissed myself several hundred times. Uh, apart from that, Dead Space follows the story of Isaac Clarke, who is a uh, team member of the emergency engineering team sent to the USG Ishimura, which is a giant fucking mining ship out in deep space, after they went offline. Um, when you first get to the ship, it looks, you know, like it's deserted, but you soon figure out things have gone horribly fucking wrong for whatever reason, and it goes from there. In terms of story, it's probably one of the best horror game stories I've ever played through. Um, there are a lot of twists and turns, and everything just flows really well. Uh, there are some levels that are a little bit slower than others, but, you know, that's just, that happens in any game, really. Uh, the main thing you're going to notice about the story is, though, it is really personal. Um, once you get settled into the game, it really becomes about finding out what happened and how am I going to get out of here. It's really a personal story if you get engrossed in the game. Um, in terms of graphics, the game looks really pretty, um, on a first glance anyway. Um, blood decals and textures look really great, all the colours fit with the environment, everything makes sense uh, in terms of graphics wise, there's no, you know, out of place colours, um, everything's suitably, you know, grey and uh, brown for where it needs to be, and then there are some bright colours in whichever sections of the ship you're in that would warrant them. Um, however, as I said, that was at a glance, when you look more thoroughly at the graphics, uh, the game does start to show it's not obviously as good as, you know, well, I mean everyone's going to compare everything nowadays to Crisis, so we'll just go with that. Um, when you look closely at like some of the textures on Isaac's back, or some of the bloodstains and things, they look a bit low res, however you really aren't going to be paying attention to that because the only time you're going to get a really good look at the textures in that sort of way is when something sneaks up behind you, and I'm going to say, frankly, you're not going to be worrying about that about the graphics when that happens. You will probably, you know, lose your bowels and then scream. Um, that happened a lot. I didn't actually shit myself. I came close. Uh, apart from that, the game looks really great. There's a whole lot of organic stuff that looks quite um, realistic if this sort of fucked up shit could happen in real life. Uh, we don't know. Maybe it will. Are you ready to ascend, Mr. Tumble? Gameplay in Dead Space is ridiculously fun once you get past the fact that you're pissing yourself every five minutes. Um, and this is mainly due to the fact that uh, you're very much in the game. You don't have anything to indicate to you that this, you know, you're not there. Everything is um, very much a part of what you're doing. So uh, any weapons you use, the ammo is displayed on them, uh, your health and stuff is displayed on your character. There's no HUD whatsoever. Um, and you can only ever pause the game to get back to the main menu. When you're in your inventory and stuff like that, everything's still going on around you. You can still be attacked. You're very vulnerable at all times. It really instills this sense of, you know, I have to get this done quickly or I'm going to get fucked up. Um, and for those wondering, Dead Space is a really, really scary game. It is one of the scariest games I've ever played. Uh, yes, it does have its fair share of cheap uh, pop-out and boo uh, scares, but it also, that's not the main part of it really. I mean, the main scary bit about Dead Space is when nothing's happening, because it instills this sense of paranoia in you. Uh, you'll find a few areas, you know, you'll be walking down a corridor and you'll see a hole in the wall, there'll be some supplies scattered around it, and you'll think, you know, shit. Uh, this is clearly a trap. Something's going to come out of the hole or come out behind me. And you go up and you have your gun up and you're thinking, you know, is this shit worth it? And you're really starting to get shaky. And you grab the supplies and you go away and nothing happened. And you're wondering, well, okay, nothing happened. I can, I should be able to do that again. And then you think, no, I can't do that again. What if they come out of me? And then every hallway you go in, shit, I can see the vents. They're going to come out. And you get really, you know, engrossed in the fear of the game, because you know they can come from anywhere, and you know they will come from anywhere. And that was a big thing in the development they kept talking about, you know, the necromorphs, which are the mutated crew, uh, which is the majority of what you'd be fighting, is um, they use the, the ventilation systems. They have ways to get around you, and they will do it. Um, they'll pop out on the roof, they'll... 
uh, find ways to drop on top of you, and just when you see them, you think you've got a good shot, they'll jump into the roof, and they're gone. And then you have to think, you know, are they going to come back now, or are they going to come back at all? Uh, sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. And the sound in Dead Space is ridiculously scary. Just the ambient noise. You can always hear them in the vents around you. There's one particular level where you're hunted by a creature that can't be killed and you can always hear it and it's always coming after you. But it's never directly coming after you. Uh, it's, it's in the vents. You can never actually see it until you have to fight it. Apart from that, like there's a whole lot of ambient sound. You can hear survivors crying or singing songs as they've, as they've gone insane from their situation. And there's just, you know, the sounds of a ship, like a pipe dropping somewhere will make you jump even though it has no effect on There are some bugs and stuff in Dead Space. Uh, mainly this is just, you know, small things. Uh, bodies will get stuck in the ground sometimes, and the physics engine is a bit loopy when it comes to uh, corpses. You can propel them along the floor just with incredible force. Um, other than that, the only other bug I really saw was when one of the monsters got stuck coming in and out of one of the vents, and it just kept going in and out and in and out. Um, and this had a lot to do, I mean, it was funny to look at, but when the game's sound engine uh, uses this, um, how it, you know, does the contextual sound is when you actually see something. So if something comes in the room with you and you don't see it, you're not going to hear, I mean, obviously you'll hear it if it's making any noise, but the music won't change until you see it. So I was particularly, at this time, looking at this thing as it was going in and out, and every now and then I'd get the, uh, you know, the deep... A violin, you know, horror sound is, oh no, it's coming, oh no, it's gone away, oh no, it's coming, oh no, it's gone away, yeah. But that sort of thing, it's, that only happened once I ever saw it, and, you know, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, in terms of features that I haven't talked about, the game gives you, um, you know, an, an ability to upgrade your suit and weapons. Uh, do note, if you upgrade weapons and sell them, uh, you can't buy them back. Uh, you can buy back the basic versions again. Um, but if you upgrade your suit and you buy a new suit, the upgrades transfer over. Um, also with upgrading, you do that by getting these power nodes, which are scattered throughout the levels, usually in these boxes. Uh, they'll be blue, you'll notice them, they flash. Uh, but there's very few around, and you'll never be able to upgrade everything in one go. Apart from that, the um, firing systems and stuff, there's secondary fire on every gun, however I never really used it, and you will probably find that your main weapon for the majority of the game is going to be the basic plasma cutter, because it's probably the most useful and there's the most ammo for it. Um, I played the game through on medium difficulty, it took me about 12 hours. Um, it's really fun uh, if you don't stop and pause, you know, you'll get through it quicker, but I refused to play the game at night time, so it took me a couple of days. But I'll give the game a 9 out of 10, because it's excellent. And really, what other games do you get to pull the face off an alien bat and punt babies into the wall from across the room for no other reason as they were trying to pull out your head? Fantastic. It's a great game. Buy it. Even if you don't like horror games, buy it, scare yourself shitless, and then go cuddle your love. I'm condescending to outer space. on my polo shirt and chase the haters out of us.